Belize, a magical country where tourists come to see the beautiful waters or the Mayan ruins, but too often overlook its many diverse living cultures. For Cultures in Harmony's second collaboration with the National Institute for Culture and History in February 2017, CIH founder William Harvey gave workshops for young musicians throughout Belize, interviewed people about issues of culture and identity, and at the Street Art Festival in collaboration with Niche and the Brookdong Project, performed Brookdong music as a violinist and as the guest conductor of the National Youth Orchestra of Belize. The word there is Buiti, Buiti Hachinudan, it means it's good that you came. We are from three different groups of people, West African slaves, Arab, Arab and Caribbean mixture of those. The West African um, connection and from West Africa, this area and how we came down. The name of this drum is Primero, so it comes directly from the Spanish influence. Remember I told you we're influenced by all these different languages. This is a segunda, no segundo, a segunda. Femenina. Yes, because the foundation of our culture are our mothers. Oh, muy lindo. The foundation of all rhythms in our culture is this drum. So we give it a female gender. We are, we're a spiritual group of people. Um, so we believe the connection with our ancestors. And so most of most of the time when we are giving a presentation and talk about Garifuna culture, the first thing we do is to call on our ancestors to be a part of the gathering. We are not as united as we once were, or I believe that we should be. What is happening now is that you find out that more and more people are in, in, in this globalized world, moving out to seek opportunities for themselves and their families. With seeking those opportunities, you're also losing the essence of the world. Called the Belizean identity, which is a combination of all different cultures, we know exactly how to come together and create that um, that showcase that we need to put forward. Let everybody see we are Belize. Yes, we are struggling with the with the younger generation due to the Western influence. America has a lot of influence here. The internet, the television is affecting the cultural identity. We, as adults, now are struggling with with our young generation, letting them understand your cultural identity, and how to connect that to the Belizean identity. And there's a difference. Well, if I talk Brockton, I wouldn't be a Belize. But I would cut the mahogany tree down and they had the, 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 the extract the dye from, from the tree. And in the evenings or in the night when they would go and in the mahogany camps that um, used to be there, there would be nothing to do. So the Englishmen with their accordion and other European instrument like guitar and other stuff got together with the slaves that who made promptly made drums from the trunks of the mahogany trees and they got together and in the evening because there was nothing to do they tried to play music together. We're all one people and, <laughs> and it's hard to tell a Belizean person that somebody is something else because we just don't, it's not in our vocabulary that, that that people are different. You don't hear people say one person is white or black or, or some color. That is not part of my makeup at all.
Thank you.